guys it's debbie and i'm back with another video if you guys are new to my channel welcome make sure if you like this video that you do give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel i go over a lot of foot selling content finances and lifestyle videos if you are a returning subscriber hey make sure to leave a comment down below so i know you're here so today's video is going to be my March monthly reset video. So we're going to be going over um, basically my finances, money that I've spent and everything. I don't have a budget in place at the moment. I'm trying to really get an idea of how much money I make every month before I set an actual goal for the month. Um, because I don't want to like overdo myself and I've just been kind of kind of like trying to track all of my suspenses as well as um how much money I make every month and that way I can go back and reflect on all of that whenever I am ready to actually put a budget in place so I don't actually budget yet but um I will be going over like how much money I spent and my finances and everything um, and then we are going to go over my goals for March, go over what we accomplished, what we didn't, as well as set new goals for April. So I'm really excited and yeah, if you're interested, just keep watching. So for my March goals, I did, um, financial goals, social media goals, and lifestyle goals. I'm going to add in some personal goals this time and maybe a few other things, just kind of depends. Um, but I'm going to go through my March goals and check off the ones that we accomplished with you guys and talk about what we didn't accomplish a little bit. All right, so these are my March 2022 goals. So starting off, save $250, which I did not do. Um, I had some expenses come up this month that I wasn't expecting and I had to actually dig into my savings for that. So I actually only saved about $20 right now. That's what I have in my savings. <laughs> um, and then I did pay off my taxes and I had already checked that off. Um, make $600 from foot content. I haven't yet, but I'm trending to do that before the end of the month. So I'm just going to leave that blank for now because I really think I'm gonna do it. For my social media goals, I had post on Instagram once a week, which I did that. I did reach $100 in Google AdSense, which I already did that. Um, I put reach 1,900 subscribers. I don't think that I did. I know I have 1,706 subscribers, so I was not able to do that. Um, I did reach 2,800 followers on Instagram. I did not even make it to 2,700, so no. And then I put posts every Sunday and Thursday in March, which I did that. Then I had read three books, which I did not do. And then I had work out at least three days a week, which I did. And then I wrote, be mindful of unnecessary purchases, which I kind of did, but I also didn't. So I'm just going to say that I didn't. As you guys can see, there is a lot that I did not do. And that's okay. Like, not every month is going to be a perfect month, so it's fine. So then now I'm going to make my April goals with you guys. Um, I'm probably going to keep some of the same ones from the month before that I did not accomplish. Maybe even lower it a little bit, make it easier on myself, but yeah.
Okay, so for my financial goals, I have save $120, pay off $100 in debt, make at least $700 from foot content, make $250 from Google AdSense, get at least two Patrons, post on Insta at least, at least once a week. I want to try for twice a week though reach 1,900 subscribers, reach 2,800 followers on Instagram, post on YouTube two to three times a week. Now, I did raise how much I want to post on Instagram and YouTube because I'm going to have a extra day off in April, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that and really build more content. Um, and then for my lifestyle goals, I did not finish the one book that I was reading, so I lowered it down to read two books, and then I kept workout at least three days a week, and then I also kept be mindful of unnecessary purchases, but I also added in don't take things personally. I just feel like sometimes I take things as like personal attacks that probably aren't meant to be like made as that and it's something that I just want to try to be more mindful of and um, try to work on but then I also want to just like not let things that are personal attacks bother me as much either like I just want to be carefree and just living for the day, basically. So I just filled in my income for March. I did not total up my foot income yet just because um, I already have some pre-orders to do this evening. So I already know that I'm gonna be making more. So I'm not gonna fill that in yet because then it wouldn't be the exact amount, so yeah that's that and then i just went through and i wrote down like what all my expenses were all the money that i spent this month and then i'm going to add all of that up and see how much i spent outside of my rent and stuff so this is the total for money that i spent this month not including paying my rent so i spent a lot a lot of money this month so this is why I am tracking so I can see what I'm spending, where my money is going, so that when I make my budget, I can plan accordingly and knock out some stuff that's just not as important and that isn't like a necessity that I need every single day. So I would basically just use this. I would like write down the total amount that I spent down here. That way I have it to keep track of. Um, I'm not going to do that just because, like I said, there are a few more days left in the month before it's completely over. Um, and then here I would just fill all these out, like what I spent on bills, what I spent on entertainment, what my gas was. Basically just breaking down what I spent and where it all went so that I can get an overview. Um, and then I would fill these out as well. That way I can reflect back on everything. Um, I actually didn't even completely fill out February, but here's January. This is what it should look like. So, yeah. And then last but definitely not least, I have my credit tracker. So I am trying to fix my credit. So I have just been tracking my credit and I'm paying things off and I'm just keeping track of how much my score is adjusting accordingly to like what I've paid off and everything. Um, so last time I updated it was March 3rd. I didn't have any changes from March 3rd until March 22nd. I paid off a credit card bill completely and so my credit score went up a lot actually like a lot I'm so happy I was at work when it happened I was having a really really bad day and then that happened and I was like oh my god yes like thank you Yes, that's right, you guys. I got my credit score up. 64 points. 
So I'm just 10 points away from having fair credit. So that is my credit tracker. That is just amazing to me, you guys. I was so freaking hyped when I saw that. And it should go up some more because I also paid off, well, I didn't completely pay off, but I paid off like half of a collection. So yeah, it's just like really exciting. And then I also wrote down my total debt starting in March. And I'm going to write down what I finished in as well as what I'm going into April with. I messed up. Mm -hmm. And you guys are probably like, why do you write down so much different stuff over and over and over? Because I feel like a monthly reset is about really reflecting on the last month, seeing what you did and what you can do better on, and as well as just like setting new achievements for yourself so you can just continue to become greater. And for me, the more I write something and the more I see it and reflect on it the more I strive to do better about it or in this case like my debt the more I see it and the more I see how high that number is the more it bothers me and the more I strive to get it down so that's why I write so many things over and over and over because it just gets it really like drilled into me so I know that that's something that I need to work on. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything I had to go over. I feel like I'm leaving some stuff out for some reason. I feel like my last video was a lot longer, but I think I just talked more and that's probably why. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today, you guys. I have to go back to work tomorrow. So I'm just going to spend the rest of the day just kind of chilling. I might try to go and get some laundry done before it gets too late, but yeah i think that's it for today if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video peace out